All right, here it is. You guys asked for it. I'm finally reviewing Gumpla. Um, only two people, gra granted, only two people voted to say yes, but we're still doing it. So I, I'm planning on doing another video after this explaining what Gumpla is. But for the first one, just to see how the topic does, uh, I'm going to be reviewing one of my all-time favorite kits. And that is the high-grade ground-type GM from Mobile Suit Gundam MS08 team, one of the best Gundam series, if not the best Gundam series ever. Um, and this is a high grade, so I guess it's a little bit, um, but how Gumpla grades go. So, the main grading of Gumpla goes SD, which are little super informed kits like this. These are incredibly simple, have a lot of stickers to correct parts that aren't in color, very basic, like that hollow beam rifle. But they are pretty fun, uh, and they're a good place to start. And then there is high grade, which is what I'm going to be reviewing today. Not not this one, maybe sometime. This was actually my first high grade, the high grade gun cannon revive. We're going to be reviewing this guy right here, which is also technically a revive. And high grades, they're very simple kits like SDs, but they have standard proportions. A lot of the time, have like really nice articulation. They're solid, simple, and reliable. Now this is when things start to become a little bit more advanced. So now we have real grade here. So the first line of real grades look beautiful, as you can see. Um, they look really nice, uh, good part separations, so like no color correcting stickers, there's just these nice decal ones. But the original few have this pre-assembled inner frame, which is nice. When you first get it, it's nice and tight, but it tends to loosen up because it's made out of this very rubbery material, and it's also very delicate, these early real grades. But lately, Bandai, the people who make these Gundam model kits, have been changing real grades, so for their inner skeletal frame, instead of being pre-assembled, you actually build it, so it's a lot more sturdy. This is the real grade crossbone. Now, the crossbone, also, real grades are the same scale as high grades, which is 1 is to 1 44th scale. SDs don't have a scale, really, but the crossbone is a significantly smaller mobile suit. Now, I don't have a standard one of these real grades, like... A standard size one that has the new inner frame. I just have a really small one, which is the crossbone, and a really big one, which is the new Gundam. I know not new like N E W, new like N U. Barely fits in the frame, but there he is. And both those kits I just showed are sold as a rock and super articulated because of that um, inner frame that is very akin to a mini version of one of these. This is a master grade. This is 1 is to 100 scale. Um, these have a full inner frame, which you build, so they're very solid. Older ones don't have a full inner frame. This is a older master grade, but it basically has a full inner frame, not including, I guess, the waist and the torso. That's because it has a uh, torso gimmick. Um, but this is a really older one. This one is from, like... Ooh, I don't even know. You can tell it's old because, um, you know, single-jointed elbow and a better example because this is so this is the newest master grade i've built and the newest i have which is the master grade gundam the origin aka the rx78 origin version um and this is a really nice more master grade it does have pre-assembled hands which not a lot have just some do but these are fully articulated a lot like the next grade which is perfect grade, which I don't have one of. Actually, I do, but... So, perfect grades are on the very pricey side. They have LED lights inside. They're usually 1 60th scale. And the only one I have is the first one, which... It's pretty outdated. It's very, um, delicate and a bit of a hand grenade, but I still have it. This isn't Gundam. This is the perfect grade Evangelion Unit 1. I'm not picking this up because it will fall apart. This is what it looks like. As you can see, this thing's huge. Wait, I'm rambling a bit. I'm going to save that for the um, Gumpla tutorial over overview video. For now, we're looking at this guy right here, which is the high-grade gym ground type. So, it looks amazing. It looks just like it did in the anime. and has a lot of nice surface detail, which I used... Uh, which, of course, I, I did panel line, which I don't do a lot, but it looks really nice. I didn't really panel line the back. But yeah, it's a really nice kit. Um, the stickers, no, I don't have the stickers handy, but I did use basically all of them. The stickers we get for color correcting are 
these white ones right here. Uh, we get the standard camera here and camera here on the back. Surprisingly, this is color separated or part separated. I don't want to sound racist. Um, this square piece or triangle piece right here, which is molded in there, so you could paint that. Uh, we have another one of those here on the side, which is tiny, and it's the same on the other side. And then we have some black ones down here. And that's it for all the color correcting stickers. So this is a pretty color accurate kit, but it is a very simple design. And the other stickers we have are marking stickers, which I used on, I guess, for accessory. Those are what we're going to start looking at now, which is the shield. So you can number the team it's from. I chose the 07th team because that was the team that mainly used these guys. The 08th team used the ground gunners, which I don't have a high grade of, but I want to get. Um, the shield is pretty nice. This part is supposed to be in, like, gray. It's not color accurate. Um, but it's still a really nice shield. It has a lot of nice detail, and I actually panel lined it. And then on the back here, we have this flip down section. Put that on the ground um, as like a little, like it's stuck in the ground or as a prop for the next accessory we're gonna, we're gonna look at right after we look at the rest of the shield. So right here, we have this little bit here which we can use to attach onto the kit's arm. And it moves down, it's very finicky but it's better to do it when the arm's not attached, but you can move it like this. And then it becomes a little melee weapon for some stabby stabby action. And this flip part here, like I did say, we're putting on the ground to use as a prop against the next weapon, which we are going to look at, which is the bazooka. Um, I don't remember the names of a lot of these, but it would like crouch down and have this right here to hold it up. So this, again, is a pretty nice accessory. There are some, There is a sticker on this and the net launcher. Um, but all those are, are just nice, reflective, shiny, shiny stickers here. Um, but this is pretty nice. It's made of a few pieces, and this part here moves a little bit. And then the magazine is also removable, which is a nice touch, but we don't get any extra magazines. We also get this adapter for storing this on the butt flap, so you just clip it onto here. And then do a little bit of part swapping right there. And you can store this on the butt flap, which I'm not going to do right now, but... It is an option. And keeping the trend with big weapons, next we have the net launcher. And yeah, this kit comes with quite a few weapons. So we have two shiny stickers on it. This little red one right there, if the camera will focus. Yeah. And then that green one. This is pretty nicely detailed. It doesn't actually launch a net. This kit doesn't come with that. As you can see, if you pull this off, it's just nothing in there. Um, This part here can wiggle around. So can this handle down here. And it's pretty nicely detailed. But panel lines won't stick out, of course, because it is a gray accessory. Next up, we have one of my favorite weapons from the MS-08 team, and that is the machine gun. I just love the idea of Gundam's firing physical rounds. It's so realistic. Um, they have beam weapons in earlier series, which is cool, but it's not realistic. If the camera's not really focusing, but this is really nicely detailed. Um, and we have a spare magazine on the bottom, which can be removed i'm not gonna remove it right now but it can be and these ones on the side skirts can also be removed and put on here uh, for removing parts we have the second handle here for it um so it can have more precise shooting and the stock that flips out so it's even more precise and there's not much recoil um but yeah there's a lot of nice detail and this is my favorite weapon in this kit we also get a alternate dynamic um hand which you only get one of these but you can put it right there and for some nice dynamic poses and i almost forgot but finally we have the beam sabers the standard close quarters combat weapons from gundams are uh, just mobile suits in general from the federation not a big fan of these uh i much prefer like the armor schneiders on the strike but these are still pretty cool so in the actual series this opens up and it kind of deploys out the high grade it kind of opens up um but it doesn't it's not on a hinge or anything but you can take it out and then pose it like that. And we do get a beam saber in here, along with our beam effect part. So you take the beam saber out and then you plug the effect part in and then it can slash some enemies in half. Um, and no, it's not it's not a lightsaber from Star Wars. The Gundam actually came first, the first Gundam series from 1979. Correct me if I'm wrong if Star Wars came up first, but I'm pretty sure Gundam came up first. 
And that's all for the accessories. Before I move on to its articulation, I want to do some size comparisons. Now, I have a lot of Gundam kits, so I'm not going to do it next to all of them, but just a few. So there is next to the Gundam RX-78 II, the original Gundam from the first series. It looks significantly taller on camera, but in person, these two are the same size because, canonically, the gym is based on the Gundam. These two kits are both built from the ground up, though. I guess this is based on the ground Gundam. This one's built from the ground up. So it's about average size. Let's do a few more. There is next to the high grade build strike, which is a significant, well, not significantly, it's a slightly taller Gundam than, um, well, this isn't technically Gundam, it's a mobile suit, but slightly taller than it. So you can see just a boat, like a V fin taller against, so doesn't have a V fin, it's not a Gundam, but it's just a little bit taller. And so basically, this is also just slightly taller than your standard size Gundam. There it is next to a master grade, the real grade RX 78 II, the real grade new Gundam and a small can of Gundam-themed coffee. So it's a standard size for an early Universal Century Federation type mobile suit, or just mostly any uh, Universal Century mobile suit. So now this is where the kit really shines, the articulation where most high grades shine. So let me separate this, make this easier. So the head is on a double ball joint system, not your standard poly cap, it's a hinge and a ball joint. So it can go up that far, down that far, side to side, and it can not turn all the- oh no, it can. You hyperextend that, or just, yeah. Oh no, it, it actually can't. The chin blocks it. The shoulders are on ball joint poly caps aligned move to the front, so there it is all the way to the front, which is pretty good. To the back, which is, again, quite decent. There is the arm all the way up, so about parallel to the ground. Um, upper bicep swivel can go the full way, and then our elbow bend is double jointed, so you get anything you'd want basically. The wrists on these kits are usually just standard ball joints, but here it's a double ball joint system. We have a ball joint in here, along for a bit of movement, and a ball joint in the wrist itself, so you get quite a bit of movement from that. Now, usually all of these um, high-grade kits, or just most Gumpla in general, have a paralyzed uh, torso. Basically, doesn't do anything but this guy. That's, ooh, that, mm, polycat ball. This guy right here, or should I say it, has that as an app crunch, which is really good. It's like, it could be better, but it is very good for a bulky, grunt, mass-produced mobile suit like this. Now, if you've ever built the entry grade RX 78 II, which is a kit I really recommend, uh, you will know how this ab crunch works. Basically, we have this piece here, which then attaches to the waist, and then this ball joint is angled like that. Now, usually in your standard high grade, it's done like double polycap ball joint. We have a polycap ball here, and a polycap ball here, which is in there. And then you put the torso on, and you don't get too much of an ab crunch, but you just get a little bit. But this kit uses that, those same poly caps, but aligns it in this way, so it bends forward more. Um, the entry grade, you get a lot more, and there's no poly caps, so it is a lot more tight and not as likely to fall off. But in the end, you do get a fairly decent ab crunch. Also, if you're wondering, the back, to take this backpack off, it has the standard universal backpack adapter, which is good for kit bashing. Um, now, to the waist, it can not spin all the way around, it is blocked by a bit of the armor. The side skirts come joined on the, or no, the front skirts come joined on the runner, but you can split them. I didn't because I have a bad history when you split them, they get a little bit loose. Um, I can already tell these are pretty loose already, so not gonna do that. Um, our side, side skirts are on your standard poly cap. So forward and has this rotation here. And then the removable magazine, which is compatible with its machine gun. The butt flap around back is just paralyzed. It doesn't move at all. So the kicks up to the back will be pretty blocked. It has a drop down mechanism here. So you push on this leg, this leg drops down. So you get a better kick, which is that to the front. Um, you get that all the way to the back. And this kit can do the splits. We don't have the full upper thigh rotation because of this armor lip here that blocks it. 
inwards. Um, but if you take it out like this, then you can basically get full rotation. The knee is double jointed, so you get first bend and then the second bend, so that's basically perfect. Um, the foot is double jointed like most high grades, so but you get quite a bit on the ground. So there it is to the front. Um, so it's like a hinge up here and a ball down there. And there's also a toe bend, so really nice for crouching poses. To the back is actually quite good, but it's still got nothing on the belt strike. And for our side to side, it is just on a ball. So there it is. It's a ball joint, so there, there which is not that good. So you can't get... Actually, no, you can get... Decently wide ground poses. Okay. It's also worth mentioning there is some nice piston detail in there, which you could paint with like a silver marker. And also a note, um, the build on this thing, like its build strength, this thing is really solid and it's not going to fall apart. Only loose bits are the um, arms right here, that poly cap, and of course the poly cap balls. They'll occasionally fall off, but it's easy to put back in. So even though this is a very bulky um mass-produced mobile suit this thing still has some really good articulation and mixed with its great articulation it's huge amount of accessories like look at all that stuff that's not counting the machine gun because it's in its hands right now but look at all that stuff well mixed with amazing articulation it's abundance of accessories and it's really solid build this is a really good kit and i highly recommend picking it up it is just not army build or cheap uh it's pretty expensive just because of all the stuff that comes in the box. So it's not army builder cheap, but you can still try. You can do what I did and assemble a, uh, your own little MS team with various mass-produced type mobile suits. So that's it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me in the comments whether you did or not. Um, I don't really care, though, because I had a lot of fun making this review. And I'm going to go off and film another one. Right after this outro, so yeah, join my server. I guess follow me on Twitch. Uh, I may, this Friday, I may stream me building a model kit. Friday or Saturday, I may. I'll try to stream me building one. Um, I'll try to upload one of these, maybe every Sunday. Um, and uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. Bye.